Live from Stockholm, Fight Club Brush presents free three-minute rounds in the amateur welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, his record one win and one defeat. Weighing in at 69.3 kilograms, fighting out of Iceland, Hakon Hanasan. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of five wins and three defeats. Weighing in at 70.3 kilograms, fighting out of Sweden, Randy Fangula! Your referee in charge of the action, Matthias Schwedien. Matthias Bulten Schwedien in charge of this amateur lightweight action between Iceland's Håkon Arnotson in the blue corner and Sweden's Randy King Fungula in the red. Okay, here we go. Anderson rushing to the center and getting quite a pop here as well. It seems like there are a few Icelanders that joined him for this trip. And I'll tell you, the Icelandic MMA fans, they show up in force even to amateur competitions. I've been commenting the European and World Championships in amateur MMA. And the Icelandic uh, national team, they always have quite a uh, contingency with them. And Arnoldson seemingly sporting some pretty good sponsor too, mm -hmm. just, just despite being two fights into his amateur career. Yeah, and only 19 years old. Nice jab there from Fungula. And he has said, you know, heading into this fight that he wants to show more of his striking, but here is some of that grappling that really put him on the map on the Swedish amateur MMA scene. Remaining calm and... Here, Fungula is very, very strong in these positions. Very, very quick shot for the single leg. Switch to the double leg against the cage. Let's see if he can big brother the young man here. Yeah, solid, solid body placement there for Fungula. It's going to be very hard for Arnusson to get out of this. A lot of time to work, more than half the round left. Looks like both guys were trying to establish the jab in the beginning, but then Fungula countered that jab with a quick shot for the single leg. As he's moving into mount here, does he also have the Dagestani handcuff? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Beautiful work here from Fungula. Both hooks in. And that's under the neck. Arnoson recognizes. This is just all gas, no yep. breaks. Yep, right now. one minute left. Fungula is, seems to be one step ahead here on the ground. That might be it, ladies and gentlemen. An early night for Randy Fungula, perhaps. But Arnorson... It's not quite under the chin, yeah. right? Okay, oh, great out. work. Great work from the young Icelandic fighter. But it's out of the frying pan and into the fire here. It's still a bad position for the Icelander. And Fungula oh. Oh, goes for another goes for it again. This one might be tighter though. Palm to palm, Gable grip. Forces out the hips. What a torque on that choke. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. How did Arnason get out of that? Arnason spun out. He is not here to lose. Not here to lose. Fungula has shown him the door two or three times. Going for another. Going for it another time here. Oh my God, was that? That looked like the tightest wow. naked choke so far. Wow. But look at that, Arnold's sort of marching back to this corner. Yeah. It held high. Yeah, and in this striker versus wrestler matchup, the wrestler getting the upper hand there in the first round. Close to finishing the fight several times. Oh yeah. I mean, a lesser fighter would have tapped for sure. And I'm already seeing some some nice uh, developments from Arnoldson. I mean, he's only had two fights for both on YouTube and definitely seeing development. But Randy Fungula all over him, just not letting up with that offense. And of course.
course, Fungula and his friend and teammate Sebastian Ketty cradling Martin Lavigne for getting them into, into martial arts. We saw his cauliflower ears and walked up to him, got interested. He took him to the rest, sort of the youth initiative that we talked about in the previous fight, and yep. the rest is history. Oh, Norson smiling, looking excited. <laughs> like a true Viking, right? Marching out. Oh, wow. Quick right hand from Fungila. Yeah, I hear that cocked and loaded like a shotgun. But I like the eyes of Arnorsson. I mean, he looks undeterred. He looks like it's... Like, like that the first round never happened. Yeah. He looks just as focused. He does not look beaten at all. Oh, maybe Icelanders, they are tough. Wow, nice sprawl. That's the exact same sequence that happened in the first round. However, now Arnason read him. Yeah, he made the necessary adjustments. Who knows? Maybe the tide might be turning here. But that's the thing with wrestlers. They just don't give up. They don't let up. It's not the first shot. It's not the second. It might be the fifth. They just keep going. Nice right, right hand connected there from yeah. one. I would like to see Fugula open up a little bit more of his striking because that would also open up more avenues for potential takedowns. For sure. And for those wondering, no, we cannot understand what the Icelandic corner is saying. Completely unintelligible to Swedish. Nice defense. Yeah, very nice. For Arnold Swan, but, but again. Very, uh, it's like you said, it's a tenacity of those wrestlers. They can just keep on going like the Energizer Bunny. Chain wrestling there from Fungula. Not giving up after the reversal. And like Alexander Love and Daniel Shamkalov and many has said, you know, when he gets his hands around you, it's a different beast. Yeah, definitely. And doing a great job at lacing those legs together. With just one minute left here in the second round. Oh, almost getting a crucifix position, it looked like, but yeah, he's got that three quarter mount. Gets it back once again. Now, oh, reminiscent of the first round, however. Less time to work. Mm -hmm. 15 seconds left to work. Time here, not wanting yeah. to rush anything, despite you know having it's a tenacity. Serving energy too. Yeah, well, I think he, you know, had a bit of a tougher time now in the second round. He doesn't want to burn himself out ahead of a third. Yeah, I felt like for for the last you know 30 seconds there on the ground, the Fungula didn't really go for the finish. Maybe he felt like, hey, I'm just gonna win this round, mm -hmm. ride it out catch my breath and to come back strong for the third. Some intense energy coming out of the Icelandic corner and I mean you'd be hard to press not to say that he's down two rounds despite a lot of success there in the, in the second round on the feet. If you're Arnold corner, you must be calling for a finish. Smiling again is Arnold He loves this. I mean, it, it requires a lot of effort and dedication to compete in a sport that is banned in your home country where you have to yeah. go abroad to to be able to show what you're made of. Nice timing and takedown there from Fungula. Nice underhook there. Strong underhook from Fungula. Oh, 
looks like he might be trying to set up an anaconda there. It's might the moment might have passed, but Fungula he was he was cooking something up there for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe a crucifix position coming up, or just a normal pass to mount. Nice awareness there from Fungula, getting him away from the cage. But despite Onorson being taken down here, I see a lot of potential in this young man. Yeah, I, I love his energy. He looks good on the feet. But he's just getting all he can handle now from Fungula. Fungula just strong with that top control and wrestling offense. And Fungula's corner calling for him to find the mount, and he does. Nice. Mm -hmm. Randy's corner telling him to stay on top. Yeah, and that is good advice because Anderson was pretty close to getting a reversal there, but Fungula just completely on every note here on the ground. Oh, and it looks, look at that. Anderson gets the top position, but right into a triangle choke. He manages to get out of it. Nice shot again. Arnoson got a little overzealous and rushed. Fungula could change levels there easily. I mean, you, you can tell by the, the timing and fighting style of Fungula and Kedi are, are very close training yeah, partners. Sure. 30 seconds left. Can Fungula get the finish? I mean, he's cruising en route to a decision victory, but I'm sure he would love to keep the judges out of it. Fungula's corner calling for a finish. Easier said than done against the tough, hard-nosed Icelander. Oh, mm. armbar possibility, but Arnusson instead gets a top position. Great show of sportsmanship. Yeah. Here. Nice fight. Great work. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 29-28. 30-26 and 30-27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Randy Fangula! Three very different scorecards, especially, you know, the 29-28, I'm a little 27 and a 30-26. I mean, I can agree with giving the first round a 10-8 uh, for Randy. Yeah, He's yeah. so close to finishing the fight several times. Absolutely. Dominance, duration. All of that.